So we've been talking about how Donald Trump, the guy who wants to build a wall between Mexico and the United States, won the presidential election on the 27th anniversary of the Berlin Wall being knocked down. On November 9th, the Berlin Wall completely knocked down November 9th, 1989. And if you read out Berlin Wall and Gematria, it equals 45. Trump just elected to be the 45th president on that day. If you read out Wall and Gematria, it equals 48. Just like Donald Trump the small way, Donald Trump the big way equals 138. And the Berlin Wall was put up on August 13th, 1961. And, you know, in other parts of the world, they write the date 13 slash 8, a lot like 138. Donald Trump equals 138. The year 61 is also interesting for the fact that if you write out the word 48, it equals 61. Also, if you go from August 13th to November 9th, it's a span of 88 days. And in Gematria, if you write out just the word Trump, Trump equals 88, talked about how he was connected to the Cubs winning the World Series, Chicago equals, or Cubs equal 45, Illinois equals 45, Wrigley equals 45, they were cursed since the year 45, by the curse of the Billy Goat, curse of the Billy Goat, also equals 88 in Gematria, the Indians hadn't won since the year 1948, 48 is the year Israel declared its independence, but think about the year 1945 in regards to Israel. They were created out of World War that came to an end in the year 45, the year the Cubs were cursed by the curse of the Billy Goat. A whole lot more that goes into that, but for some reason, it made me think of Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd has the album called The Wall. They also have the movie that's based off of the album or whatever. In this post, I didn't really talk a whole lot about Pink Floyd. But I did talk about the movie The Wall a tiny bit. And basically just the actor in that movie is Bob Geldof. And I remember that his daughter, Peaches Geldof, had died a few years back, supposedly from heroin, right? The white pony. There's been all of the white horse symbolism within the last year in regards to all kinds of stuff. The white Bronco wins the Super Bowl. We even had the Invictus Games, Invicta is the white horse. We even had the Minions movie, where it's all about stealing Queen Elizabeth's crown, but the one minion, Bob, is sitting on the white horse. And of course, the pale horse from Revelation. But if anybody, I guess, anybody knows more about Pink Floyd, that would be great. It's just something I've never really got into. I have a bunch of friends who aren't really awake but they love Pink Floyd, and I can't ask them. So if anybody knows a lot more and can look some stuff up and point me in a different direction or a better direction, that would be awesome. And it's not that I hate Pink Floyd. It's just that it's not something that I just absolutely loved, and I was into a lot of other things than Pink Floyd-type music. Also, I've been talking about all the moon symbolism too, and Pink Floyd, whenever I think of Pink Floyd, I think of the wall, and I think of the dark side of the moon. And I mean, just think about Pink Floyd in general, you think of their album covers, and some of the artwork and whatnot, they always have the pyramid, a lot of, you know, just lots of symbolism in their, in their stuff. But I mean, almost every famous band, it seems like, is all into that, you know, there's... Tons of all-seeing eye stuff in music, popular music at least, even in movies. I just don't know how people don't understand that this stuff is truly going on when they watch movies that have, you know, all-seeing eyes in them constantly, and they even know that it's going on, and they think that it's just some type of joke. That's just something I've wondered forever. People know that it's, see that it's happening, and then they just don't even care to look up why it's happening. They just go on with their day. It just blows me away. But anyway, so we have this guy, Bob Geldof. He was the star in the movie The Wall that came out in 1982. But in 2014, 
we got a story about his daughter, Peaches Geldof. And interesting, she died on 4-7 of 2014. The word president equals 47. She also died 25 days after her 25th birthday. But one of the most interesting things I remember about her is the fact that she died on a Monday, or that's when it was reported at least, August. April 7th is a Monday, and her dad is really famous for the song called I Don't Like Mondays. So, she died on 4-7-2014, but if you notice, she was also born in the year 89 on 3-13. 1989 was when the Berlin Wall got knocked down on November 9th. She was born on the 72nd day of the year. If you write out President Trump, it equals 72. The date numerology that she died was 45. 4 plus 7 plus 20 plus 14. 45, the 45th president. She died on 4-7. The word president equals 47. Think about her name, too. Peaches. Think about, remember the song? Millions of peaches, peaches for me. The song that's by the presidents of the United States of America. I mean, oh, the odds. Just some crazy stuff. I also just made a post about a bunch of 72 stuff. I talked about how the assassinated president, William McKinley, a ton of stuff with him, but William McKinley and Gematria equals 72. Talked about how they compared Trump a lot to Ronald Reagan on the election day, even before that. But earlier this year, we had the death of Nancy Reagan. And then we had John Hinckley Jr., the guy who tried to assassinate Reagan, he got let out of prison in September. And, of course, he tried to assassinate Reagan to impress Jodie Foster that was in the movie Taxi Driver and whatnot. But he was basically copying Arthur Bremer, who tried to assassinate George Wallace in the year 1972. George Wallace, I just pulled it up here, George Wallace also was the 45th governor of Alabama. Think about Trump being the 45th president. John Hinckley Jr. and Gematria equals 72, just like President Trump. I even talked about how it was synced up to the 1948 election when Harry S. Truman won, and it was the biggest upset in American history for the election. Nobody thought he was going to win. He ended up winning the year 48. Donald Trump equals 48. But... Truman was the only president who died at the age of 88, and he died in the year 72. So, just a lot of 72 stuff in regards to Donald Trump. And then, it's just how funny is that, that Peaches Geldof seems to be connected to the President of the United States. I also noticed that her full name, Peaches Honey Blossom Geldof Cohen, equals 313 in Gematria, and she was born on 313. Right here, March 13th of 1989. The Berlin Wall in 1989, it came down on the 313th day. And 313 is a super special day. I've talked a lot about it, but Pope Francis became the Pope on 313 of the year 13. I mean, look at that, 31313. If you write out the Mark of the Beast, 600, 3 score, and 6. It equals 133 the small way, 313 the big way. Both can be written as March 13th. 13 slash 3, 3 slash 13. Actually, I think if you write out Pope Francis as the Antichrist, even. I'm just going to throw this out here, you know, just find it interesting. Pope Francis is the Antichrist. Equals 133. And 304. So just interesting, I guess. A few other 313s that are interesting is that the Edict of Milan came out in February of the year 313, and it was what protected Christians in the Roman Empire. And I've also mentioned a whole lot about how Prince Charles, who will become King Charles III if Queen Elizabeth dies, and whatever, he was born in the year 48. I just talked about the supermoon stuff, but his name is also Charles Mountbatten Windsor. So when Queen Elizabeth dies, if he becomes the king, 
It will no longer be the House of Windsor, supposedly. It'll be the House of Mountbatten, Windsor. Charles Mountbatten, Windsor in Gematria equals 313. So, special number. If you write out 313, it equals 112, just like Pink Floyd. You know, we just had the 112th World Series that came to an end on November 2nd, 11 slash 2. Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday when Prince, the singer, died on the night of a full moon was the 112th day of the year. The Simpsons killed off Prince with Neil Armstrong, the first guy to walk on the moon. The episode came out on November 2nd, 11 slash 2. 112 was also the alternative emergency dialing code instead of 911. A lot of other countries use 112. So sorry for getting off topic here, but Peaches Geldof also... Her married name was Cohen. It just makes me wonder, we just had the death of Leonard Cohen as well, the guy who wrote the song Hallelujah. Leonard Cohen in Gematria even equals 114. If you write out President of the United States, it equals 114. The Cubs just won the World Series on their 114th win of the season. They were in their 114th year being called the Cubs. World War equals 114, Pearl Harbor equals 114, Holocaust equals 114. Right now we're in the 114th U.S. Congress. It's funny too, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, I believe November 4th, a lot like 114, is even Egyptian Valentine's Day. And if you've been following a lot of my videos, I talk a lot about how Valentine's Day seems to be very important. It's even the 45th day of the year. And we just elected the 45th president. But anyway, in regards to this song, I don't like the Mondays. The reason that this song was supposedly written was Bob Geldof was giving a radio interview. And the little thing, a piece of paper came through. And it was talking about the shooting at Grover Cleveland Elementary School in San Diego, California. And... Basically, the killer in the little statement said the reason that she did it was because she didn't like Mondays. So the story is that he wrote the song, I Don't Like Mondays, all because of that, that happening to him or whatever. Anyway, I thought it was interesting that this shooting happened on January 29th of 1979. And... This, this song, I Don't Like Mondays, came out in the year 79. Pink Floyd, The Wall, the album, came out in the year 79. This shooting also happened at Cleveland Elementary School. If you write that out in Gematria, Cleveland Elementary, it also equals 79. And it was named after Grover Cleveland who has been super significant to everything I've talked about. He even died 108 years before the 1908 World Series, the last time the Cubs won the World Series. The Cubs break the curse against Cleveland. He was even the president in Back to the Future 3 in 1885, you know, where Marty goes back to 1885, and the first thing that he sees is the Indians. Anyway, I'll talk more about that in a little bit, I think, but... The city of Cleveland, Ohio, even though this was in California, but the city of Cleveland, Ohio, is actually named after, if I can find it here, it was named after this guy, Moses Cleveland. I mean, just how interesting, his birthday, January 29th, we get a famous school shooting at Cleveland High School, and it happens on January 29th. I've even talked a whole lot in regards to a Moses theme, and it's all about freeing the slaves. That's a big part and why we're getting a lot of these civil war, civil rights stuff. Lincoln supposedly freed the slaves. Moses freed the slaves. Too much to go into. You just have to watch my previous videos, but I mean, I could go on for another hour about it. But Grover Cleveland died at the age of 71. Moses equals 71. The Ten Commandments equals 71. World War III, if you read out the word three, it equals 71. It's been 71 years since World War II came to an end. But moving on. So the girl who supposedly did this, Brenda Spencer, her name equals 61 and 124. 
Peaches Geldof also equals 61. And remember, 48 equals 61. Also interesting, it's that 133, which who knows? It just reminds me, it could be my March 13th. Government equals 133. White House equals 133. This lady's full name, Brenda Ann Spencer, equals 72. And she was born on a date numerology of 88. Trump equals 88. What's funny is if you read about that shooting, you find out that almost exactly 10 years later, at a different Cleveland elementary school in California, there was a shooting as well. And it was 9 years, 11 months, 19 days apart. Just kind of interesting. Reminds me a lot of 9-11, you know, front and backwards, possibly nothing. Trump even elected on November 9th, which could be 9-11 or 11-9. This shooting, the second one happened on January 17th, a lot like 117. A big number that I've been talking about, and for whatever the reason, just the other night, Brother Berg had posted a comment on one of my blog posts, and I went and read a bunch of stuff on his blog. And I realized that if you write out 45th president, it equals 108, but with the S exception, it also equals 117. So we get the second shooting on in 1989, the same year that the Berlin Wall came down, but it was on January 17th. The first one was located on 117 degrees west. The second one just so happened to be in Stockton, California. Stockton equals 117. The shooting happens on January 17th. If you write out Stockton, California, it equals 79. Just like Cleveland Elementary. Just like the year of the previous shooting at a Cleveland Elementary. The word murder equals 79. Pink Floyd, The Wall came out in the year 79. I Don't Like Mondays came out in the year 79. Interesting too, the guy in the second shooting, his name was Patrick Purdy, that equals 72 in Gematria, just like the name of the, the lady in this first one, her name equals 72. All of the 72 I talked about, the big way, Patrick Purdy equals 162, just like San Diego, California, where the previous one happened in the year 79. Like just lots of interesting parallels going on between the two shootings. Also, both of these shootings happened in California, but they were re reminding us of Cleveland. California is one of only two states. Maryland is the other one. That equals 88 in Gematria. Trump equals 88. Ohio, which what most people think about when they think of Cleveland, Ohio equals 117 in Jewish Gematria. And remember, the Republican National Convention was in Cleveland this year. The Cavaliers were in the NBA Finals. The Indians, the Cleveland Indians, made the World Series. So one last thing I want to talk about in this video is this is Peaches Geldof right here. And I think it was just months before she died. I can't remember the exact date. But she posted a picture on Instagram and swears that this picture, this hand right here, is not her hand. It's supposedly she thinks it's the ghost of some lady who had lived in her house who had drowned in the bathtub. And, you know, I don't really have a whole lot to say about that. Ghost hand in Gematria equals 42 and 96. The word Freemason equals 42 and 96. And if you look more into her, you find out that she was really into the teachings of Aleister Crowley, you know, the wickedest man in the world. I mean, there's so much more I could talk about in regards to this, you know, the number 93 and Aleister Crowley and Thelema and Saturn and, you know, tons of other stuff. The only thing I want to point out in regards to it is the fact that he died at the age of 72. So, and he was also, he died on, you know, 12 slash 1, like Revelation, the word Revelation equals 121. But it could also be written as 1 slash 12, a lot like 112. But I mean, all the stuff I'm talking about with numbers, there's been people 
throughout history who have done this stuff, you know. Thelema equals 93. These people greet each other with by saying 93. Numbers have importance to these people, and it is what I am talking about. They control our sports leagues. They control the movies that we watch. They control the governments. And they code everything by the numbers. They make things happen by the numbers. So we'll just leave it at that. I don't really know. Like I said, I, I feel like there's something more I'm missing about Pink Floyd and the wall. But interesting, I find all of this stuff just by thinking of the wall. And then you look and you find out that Bob Geldof, who's in that movie, his daughter's death was connected to Donald Trump possibly being the president. And I'm not even joking, my last probably like, I don't even know, my last 50 videos, I bet you anything I've mentioned, something to do with Cleveland and how Cleveland seems to be very special. So, you know, these two shootings involved Cleveland, what are the odds? So, whatever, have a good one.